Hi, I'm Alex. We are the Frail. I play bass in the band. My name's Daniel, singer in the band. You're watching the AU Review. Um, welcome to South by Southwest, guys. How have you played yet, or have you still got some showcases to come? We've uh, we've played four shows so far. Holy crap! We just got in yesterday. <laughs> uh, Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. How, they, how how were they then? Great. Um, Do you remember much of them? <laughs> I want to say yes, but my heart's saying no. Fair so. enough. Well, you don't look battered and bruised, so I'm gathering that they all went well. So. Yeah. We had nap time. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you got. There's to a, actually there. a showcase called the Nap Showcase. <laughs> you should check it out. Did you Did you rock up thinking it might be something else, and then when you got there, you're like, damn it. No, we got there, and it was exactly what we oh, expected. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Well, we're, we're happy to have you in our little suite this evening. Um, it's pretty. You know, for the folks back home who might not be aware of your type of music, can you tell us a bit about the local music scene that you're from and, you know, how you guys got together? <laughs> well, Danny actually started the band seven years ago uh, off of Craigslist, of all places. He was just really excited about casual kind of encounters. <laughs> casual encounters. Um, he was just looking for the ideal mate that he saw on Muni. Uh, no, he, he was into... He was just into electronic stuff. I mean, you can you can tell the story better than me, but um, yeah, he, he found a guy named uh, Kevin uh, who kind of helped with like synth parts, and they just exchanged stuff back and forth, and that became the basis for for the band. Um, since then, the sound sort of evolved. Uh, he's gotten a producer named Patrick Brown involved to kind of help shape our sound and take it to the next level. Yep. Um, and then uh, the three of us sort of joined uh, the band about a year ago. Um, to kind of take it in a more kind of live and kind of dancier yeah. direction. Okay, cool. Um, and and it's, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. sweet. I mean, th thinking about the live development of the band then, um, how would you say that the, the dynamic between you guys is, you know, growing, strengthening? How's it, how's it been working together? Uh, it's, been, it's been really good. Yeah, so actually a bunch of us used to play together in a bunch of past bands. Cool. Uh, Ryan and I for, I guess... 15 years now at this point. <laughs> yeah. So th those, yeah, we're fucking You're old. You're veterans. It's uh, so <laughs> but uh, no, you, th those relationships and the, the experience really helps. It's just yeah. like, you know, that subconscious. Like you've, got, you've got that comfort level already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and can you tell us about, you know, what new music you might have coming up or what you're currently touring? Yeah. Um, so... The, we weren't part of producing all of the last album. Uh, Danny kind of spearheaded that. And that was yeah. that was kind of a dark, a really dark thing because it was about the death of one of his closer friends, and it was just yeah. um, it was it was a really great album. But I think now we're trying to lighten up a little bit, yeah. take things in a more dancier, just like happy kind of summertime direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been really influenced by a lot of great artists like Cut Copy. RAC, uh, I don't know who else. M83. M83, yeah. and uh, yeah, we're, we're really excited to explore that. That's pretty cool. Like, I mean, some of those artists you've mentioned, they're really talented in kind of making music that has a great deal of space and a great deal of atmosphere behind it. Was this something yeah. that you're interested in kind of exploring yourselves? Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Take both. Uh, uh, Moment of truth. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think one of the key things that I, at least I'm shooting for in terms of the music that we're making, and I did a little bit of that on the last record, is trying to, you know, kind of provide that space yeah. in the album to where, A, you might hear something that you've never heard before the second time you listen, or B, it has just this kind of atmospheric kind of thing. And, yeah. you know, that can be done with drums or, you know, synths or, you know, yeah. whatever. And so I think we're really trying to explore that. And uh, the producer that we're working with, Patrick Brown, he's worked with uh, Toro y Moi and Chromio and, and uh, all kinds of different artists. And so he's kind of pushing us in a direction that kind of helps us explore that space a little bit more. Awesome, awesome. Well, thinking about, you know, the, the last few weeks of the South, last few weeks, last few nights of South by Southwest music that we've got coming up, Thinking beyond that, what's coming up for the band, um, and where can we where can we find your music once we get back to Australia? Um, well, you can look us up probably through the Frail SF. It's probably the best way. Um, we're on Spotify, <laughs> Audio, YouTube, all that kind of stuff, um, and we have a new album that we're working on. As we mentioned, it's no title. Um, 
mysterious. And uh, mysterious. Yeah, we don't even know what it is. It's so mysterious that we have no idea what it's gonna be called. I know. What um, it's it's to the point where we haven't even written lyrics yet. I haven't written lyrics yet. It's it's. We have all the music, or we're working on the music. But um, anyways, we're we have a split coming out with a band called the Moving Units. Cool. Uh, probably potentially a couple tours. Playing Bottle Rock with No Doubt and awesome. Imagine Dragons and Great. Robert Plant and whatever. Um, Small <laughs> just names. Whatever. Small, Small names. names. Whatever. Small few names. names. Notice I picked the biggest names yeah, possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snoop Dogg. He's going to be here on Friday, so. Snoop Lion. Tell me Snoop Lion. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell White Boy Todd what's up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we have a new record. We are putting all our heads together and we're going to do the best we can. Awesome. It's a great way to be, guys. I mean, we've, we're so happy that we've kind of, I don't know, got you at this time of creativity where you're playing and also pulling together new materials. So we can't wait to see what comes of it. And thank you so much Us for your time. Us too. Yeah, we have no idea what's coming of it. Thank you. Right. <laughs> thank you. Thanks so much.